This week, I'm going to show you how to set up the seven areas of mastery. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to give you something that I learned at Tony Robbins's Unleash the Power Within this week and that is the seven areas of mastery or the pyramid of mastery and there are seven areas to this including physical, emotional, relationships, career and mission, finances. There are many areas in this. Well, there's seven areas in this. And I've realized on my way back to Korea, I realized that actually these are really powerful areas of life that if you get or you become a master of them, then amazing things will happen in your life. So I want to show you how to set this up and give you a couple of examples of what you would put in there into Doist. And later this week, I will give you a lot more information on this pyramid of mastery in my To Doist video. And I'll give you also a summary of what I learned at Unleash the Power Within last week in Singapore. Okay, before we go into To Doist, I would just like to say, if you do get a lot of value from this episode, then I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button for me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips and tricks and know-how in To Doist, then please hit that subscribe button. Okay, let me take you straight into To Doist now and I'll show you how to set up the Pyramid of Mastery. Right, these are the seven areas of mastery. And if you get these seven areas in balance and harmonious in your life, then you are developing a life of mastery. And when you actually sit back and think about it, these are really the only seven things that you need. And they actually work in a hierarchy of of a, it works in a hierarchy. So what I mean by that is if you are physically not in good shape, then your emotions and your meanings, your relationships, your time, your career, your finances, everything else actually falls apart. If you are sick, for example, you're not likely to be earning any money. If you are sick, you're being a it's a horrible thing to say, but you are actually being a burden on the friends and family around you. Of course, they want to help you, but you know you are not helping yourself. So you need to get your physical, your physical part of your life in control. You need to be healthy. You need to be fit because that bring gives you so much energy. If you're unfit, if you can, if you climb one flight of stairs and you're completely out of breath for the next five minutes, you know, you are not in good shape and you need to do something about that. Mo working onto your emotions and meaning, you know, your emotions, if you're going around in a stress state, you're, you're shouting at everybody, or as we say in England, you're snapping at people, you're not actually doing very much to build the next level, which is your relationships, because relationships, we're human beings, we are communal people, we, are, we need that connection with people around us. And of course, if you haven't got your time under control, then the thing, everything else starts to fall apart as well. So all these are actually linked together in a hierarchical structure. So we start at the top, which is the most, the base, if you like, which is your physical activity. And this is like you need to be scheduling three to five exercise sessions per week. Now, I actually use my calendar for this. I don't do a, a to-do, a task in Todoist. I actually schedule this on my calendar because I have a strict policy that what goes on my calendar gets done. Things that go into my to-do list manager don't always get done. So this is a reminder to do when I'm doing my week review. Every Sunday, schedule five exercise sessions per week. Now, emotions and meaning. And I've actually given this a couple of ones just to give you an idea about what it means about emotions and meaning. And the first thing is like doing every single day 15 minutes meditation. A very important thing because that relaxes you. That brings perspective and that brings calm. I've got one here. Go for a 30-minute walk with no phone. 
because it's your phone that's causing distractions. It's your phone that's not allowing you to enjoy nature. Just get out and go without your phone. Take that 30 minutes offline. Moving down to the next one, which is like relationships. Now, the RK is my, the word, my shorthand for my wife's name. Ask her for the best day for our date night next week. You know, we're, we're married. We should be having date nights every single week. Of course, call mum and dad, which would be a repeating every Saturday. Just call mum and dad or Sunday. Time is an interesting one. I had to think about this, but one of the things that we should be always aware of is how are we spending our time? And if we're spending 19% of our waking hours in the office doing work, you know, our, we have a, a time imbalance. We need to balance things out a little bit. And so having this area of mastery called time, this will give you the, the perspective that you need to make sure that you are actually balancing out your time. Now, I don't believe in there's such a thing as a work-life balance because these days our work and our life tend to cross over. We might have to send a few emails late at night. We might need to order something for our personal thing during the day when we're at work. We might have to sort out, go to the bank and sort out a problem at the bank, a personal problem during the day when we're supposed to be working. So this work-life balance thing doesn't really mean much to me, but I do need to be aware of how I am spending my time. Am I spending too much time in front of my computer or am I spending too much time sitting on the sofa? You know, these kind of questions that you can ask. Now, going into the next one, which is career and your mission, your career. Review your career goals, which I always think is a very good idea every three or to six months. I've got this down every three months. <clears throat> But I think it's a very, very important one to do is to review your career goals to make sure that you're perfectly happy with your chosen career. And if you do need to change it, what do you, how do you, you're going to change it? How do I feel about my career mission? You know, we most have a mission. My goal is to help as many people as I possibly can to become better organized and more productive so that it helps them to reduce their stress, overwhelm and just gives them a better quality of life. That's my career mission. I'm very clear about that. But, you know, do I feel that's powerful enough? Do I need to add to it? So these things, again, I would review every three to six months. Now, because of these areas of mastery, let's just say, imagine that you have decided that your current job is not enjoyable, not something that you really want to do. What you can do is include in here is a new job search. So review your CV or resume. Uh, is it up to date? review job postings and apply for three positions. So you can actually bring in uh, projects within these areas of mastery should you need to do them. And I just give this as an example of one that you might want to do. Next up would be finances. And imagine that this is a pyramid. So now we're getting close to the top, the top of the pyramid. So the base of the pyramid, the foundation of your life is your physical health and your physicality and your emotions and meaning. And now we're getting to the top. We're getting kind of like to the icing on the cake, if you like. So the finances here, if your finances are not under control, you're going to create yourself an awful lot of stress, which is why this is an area of mastery. Master your finances. So open a new savings account, review your spending this week and send $175 every month to your savings account send it there and forget about it. And finally, contribution. And contribution basically means that you're giving something back to society. You can help out at the local hostel, hostel if, you're a, if you're a church goer or a synagogue or a, or a mosque goer, then maybe you can help out and volunteer at your local uh, church or mosque or synagogue. And, you know, all these things, contribution is just giving something back to society and to the community. And I think that just helps to give us or brings us into an area of balance in life that really does help us to feel that we are mastering our life. And that's really it, the areas of mastery. And it's something that I picked up from uh, Unleash the Power Within this week. And it is really, really strong for me. And this is, although this is my demo account, I am actually going to be creating an area in my real Todoist account called Areas of Mastery. So it gives me something to review at the end of the week to make sure that I've got these seven areas of life 
in balance. Well, I hope you found some insight into this. This might not be for everyone. Maybe you don't think this is going to be useful for you. But for those of you who want to go into that deeper area of mastering your life, then these are seven areas that you may wish to create. And then you can regularly review them and it keeps them in your mind so that you are actually moving forward in this area. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery Version 3 course has launched. Now, this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and that you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.